Yeah. Melrose Place. I can hear the theme song in my head <laughs> right now. The show turns 30 next year, y'all, but we are going to pre-party tonight. Our iconic leading men of the 90s TV is feeling all kinds of love for Mr. Grant Show. So we are here in Atlanta because we have this series, our iconic leading men of the 90s. And so you... It was news to me, okay? <laughs> I wish you didn't have to sleep on it to come to that decision. You're waiting for someone to tap you on the shoulder and say, we made a mistake here, pal. It's not you. <laughs> Let me just say this. When we first saw you on that motorcycle, that was iconic, but sir. But see, now that wasn't me. That was, that was Jake. I wasn't like that. I was like kind of a dorky guy. Well, at 59 years old, Grant is just as hot and humble as ever. Audiences were first introduced to Melrose Place's resident womanizer, Jake Hansen, in 1992, when he showed up in Aaron Spelling's other show, Beverly Hills 90210. Looking good. Yeah, it's almost finished. I was talking about you. What do you remember most about your time on the set of Beverly Hills 90210? You know, I remember like, building a gazebo in the back of Jenny Garth's yeah. character's house, and I was so young, um, I don't really remember much about it. Well, that's when E.T. first met a then 30-year-old Grant during his first E.T. interview. I actually just want to play you just a clip from an early interview that we did. Oh, my you. God. I'm, see, you're going to see what a nerd I was. <laughs> Still am. I was kind of <laughs> about walking on that set with all those kids who are sitting on top of the world right now. And I was just wonderfully surprised at how down to earth and how well they treated me. Wow. What do you think of that young man? He's faking it real well. <laughs> <laughs> you picked a good clip, thank you. On July 8, 1992, Melrose Place made its much hyped premiere on Fox. And for five seasons, Grant's character pretty much hooked up with every lady in the complex. Well, whatever happened to love thy neighbor? That's cute, Jack. Come here. But here's a behind the scenes secret I did not see coming about his on screen romance with Joe, played by Daphne Zuniga. And you know, I asked them not to hire her. Really? Yeah, it was terrible of me. <laughs> Daphne and I both went to UCLA yeah. at different times. I was in New York at a restaurant and she was at a table. So I went over and I introduced myself. I said, I'm, I'm, you don't know me, my name's Grant. We both went to UCLA, we, we have a lot of mutual friends. And she just looked up a bit at me and she went like this. No. The real Jake. So I was like, I do not want this person working <laughs> with me. No, calm down. No, I'm not gonna calm down. But and thank God they didn't listen to me and they hired her. And I love her, and, and we still talk. I got to ask, if you ever think about a reboot or a revisit, and would you do it? Some of the uh, girls from the show have been talking with Fox about doing something. So yeah, of course I would. I'm pretty busy doing Dynasty and love Dynasty. You ready? I'm having so much fun right now, I can't tell you. Well, marriage isn't always picture perfect. Catch Grant on May 7th, when season four of Dynasty returns on The CW. Can you tease something about this new season? Someone dies. Oh, come on. <laughs> someone you care about. Ah, no! Oof, are y'all ready for that? Because I'm not. Now, tomorrow, from LA Law to NYPD Blue, our iconic leading man of 90s TV is celebrating the fabulous Mr. Jimmy Smith. Is he ready to return to his primetime roots? You'll find out.